everyone, it's Cassie with Cassie Can Craft. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna to be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, this here is a hexagonal uh, stretched canvas and it is about 12 inches from here to here. And uh, we are going to be doing something I have not actually tried at all, not just not, uh, not just in a video, but at all, I've not tried this technique. Um, I am gonna be doing a chain pull. So I got some chain a while back and haven't tried this out yet. Uh, so we're gonna be giving this a shot. And what I have is, um, I just have this ready to pour pitch black paint. I'm gonna use this just because I want a dark base. I don't have one already mixed up and um, I just don't really feel like mixing one. So we're gonna try this out and see how it goes. And then I've got a little bit of this here. And this is um, some dragonfly glaze along with some PBO iridescent, um, I think it's red violet. No, no. Um, Got a dab of PBO iridescent violet blue in here just to give it a little bit of additional color. And so uh, we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just speed it up and let you guys watch me work and then we'll check in at the end.
All right, so as you can see, um, I completely switched gears from where I originally started. Um, the original plan was to try to do a chain pull with just the black and the uh, iridescent glittery color that I had. Um, I did a couple of them. I think that I got a chain that was really just too small. Um, it was really hard to control and I think maybe I just need to do a little bit of uh, research on that specific technique to see if maybe um, I can make a couple of changes. But what I, I still wanted to share this video with you because one, I still like the outcome of the painting. I think it's super cool. Um, I also wanted to share this because I hope that you guys are not afraid to pivot. If something is not working or a specific technique is not jiving with you and what's going on with you that day, don't force it. Just go ahead and pivot and try something different. So as you can see, I added another color in with this in addition to the others that I had picked. And this is a uh, Royal Velvet and it's another one of the Spin Drip Pour Ready Mix uh, paints. So I used that, did a little bit of Dutch Pour, um, tweaked that some, added some in, did a little spinning, you saw. Um, super, super curious how this one's going to dry because of the glitter and the iridescent type colors that we have going on in here. Really curious. Um, I kind of see, you know, something ethereal going on here. So I'm curious to know what you guys think about this piece. Um, let me know. And if you've got any tips on chain pull uh, that you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Um, also take a look at the description below. Um, give me a second, we'll bring you in for a closer look on this one. All right, here it is. I really think this is a very interesting piece, even though it's completely different than what I was originally planning. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, and um, I'll also take another video of this one dry. I think it's really going to look a lot different once it's dry, so stay tuned after this one to see what it looks like. All right, that black that I was putting over everything um, that was different from the premix, that was actually um, Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed with Australian Floetrol. I wanted to see if I could get some cells and lacing going on in here, and you can see that, that did happen. You can also see a lot of the glitter in here. This section has a lot of glitter, which I think is pretty cool. That always looks really awesome when it's dry. I have other pieces that have uh, some of this dragonfly glaze and I really, really like the way that they look in the light. All right, well, there it is. Sit tight and we'll get you the dry results. Hey guys, all right, so here is the dried piece. Um, you can see that we did have a little bit of cracking issues, specifically right in this area, um, and a little bit over towards the edge, but that's not really a big deal. Um, a little bit of um, unevenness in the paint. I think that might just be the type of paint I was using. Um, but yeah, a little bit of cracking in right here. The paint must have been a little bit too thick. Um, I haven't had the best of luck with those ready to pour paints either. So sometimes, um, you know, that can, that can cause this to happen as well. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just paint black over this bit here because I don't think that I'd like that to stay, but I like the rest of it still. And surprisingly, um, the colors are still pretty vibrant. I expected these to kind of fade quite a bit, um, but I'll just kind of take you in for a little bit of a closer look here. You can see the cracking issues here. A lot of glitter coming up in this section, which I really like. So yeah, not too bad. 
All right, let me know what you think in the comments. If you've made it this far, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and helping other people find my art. It really helps me out and helps me keep making these videos for you. Thank you again for joining me, and we'll see you in the next one.